Hi there, I'm Dan Moran from Concierge Diamonds. People are asking me, what's the difference between 18 karat gold and 14 karat gold or 10 karat gold or 24 karat gold? How does all that work? So for purposes of this video, we're just gonna talk about traditional yellow gold. We're not gonna worry about alloys that create other colors like white gold or rose gold. 24 karat gold is pure gold. It's 100% gold. So when you're looking at a piece of 24 karat gold, that's what actual gold looks like. But the minute we're reducing that carat purity, um, not to be confused with carat weight of diamonds, this is carat with a K, when you go from 24 karat gold to 18 karat gold, you've now reduced the gold content from 100% to 75%. Similarly, 14 karat gold reduces the gold content to 58.5%, et etc., et etc., and so on. So the lower the carat purity of your gold, the less material in that is actually gold. And the rest of the material in that piece of metal is some kind of other metal that the gold has been alloyed with. Typically it's brass, but lots of other metals can be used in that alloy. And those different metals can create slightly different shades of yellow in the gold. So a lot of people will notice that 18 karat gold tends to be a more deep, rich yellow color than 10 karat or 14 karat, and that's because it has higher gold content. But some jewelers will try to you know, customize different shades of gold. Some will have a little bit of a red overtone to them. Some will have a little bit of a green overtone to them. And that's all based on what other metals they're alloying the gold with. So if you want a deep, rich color, you typically want to go with a higher purity of gold. If you're looking for a more subtle pale color, you might go for a lower purity of gold. In simplest terms, that's how carat purity of gold works. I hope you found that helpful. I'm Dan Moran from Concierge Diamonds.